It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Well, maybe not, but I have. The Sephora Spring Savings event is here. I have my haul. I have a lot of goodies. I'm really excited to say that today's video is sponsored by Sephora. So thank you so much, Sephora, for working with me on this video. All the items that I'm featuring in today's video can be picked up at Sephora.com. I will have every item that I mentioned linked down below for your convenience to shop through. If you don't know what the Spring Savings event at Sephora is, it's a great time to save some cash on some beauty items that you've been wanting and that have been on your wish list. They only do this twice a year, so it's always really exciting for me to stock up on a bunch of stuff that I'm going to be talking about and testing throughout the year. Now, in order to participate in this event, you must be a beauty insider. I'm going to have the link down below for you to sign up. It is totally free. Once you do sign up, the more often you shop from Sephora, there are different tiers that you can climb up on. So let's talk about what is happening for all of the tiers. So starting now until April 11th, Rouge, you guys are able to shop the event for 20% off unlimited use. You can also buy online, pick it up in store shop online and have it chipped. You can also shop in store an unlimited number of times if you didn't know. So April 1st to April 11th, Rouge, you guys are able to shop. But don't worry, VIB starting April 5th until the 11th, you guys are able to shop and you will get 15% off. And then finally, Insiders, you are able to start shopping April 7th until the 11th and you guys get 10% off multi-use online and in store. Make sure you guys use Save Spring at checkout. What is 30% off though is Sephora Collection. So you are able to get 30% off Sephora Collection throughout the entire event without having to put in a promo code. Time to get into the goodies that I picked up. I picked up some new items, some older items. So the first item that I picked up is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Nude Glow Foundation. This is It Cosmetics newest complexion product. I like to buy all of the complexion products that they came out with. I picked up the shade Light Medium. I am currently wearing it. I think it's pretty. I know there have been mixed review. It's definitely a light coverage. I would not say that it's medium and it does give a sheen to the face. The sheen reminds me a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I, the coverage doesn't build up on this either but I think it is really pretty, very natural. I'm gonna have to continue playing with this. Obviously I have only worn it for about an hour now but first impressions, it doesn't dry out my skin. It gives a pretty semi-metallic glow and metallic not to put you off but it, it's kind of like that Hollywood flawless filter glow so I'm liking it so far but you have to like light coverage and you have to like glowiness but so far so good and light medium is literally the perfect shade for me so excited to continue playing with this guy so more. I picked up a couple concealers one of which is a new one and I can't believe I didn't pick this up when it first launched but I had it in the back of my head to pick this up during the event. This is the Dior Backstage Flash Perfecting Concealer. I I love me Dior complexion products, so I've been really excited about this. It's very similar packaging to the Backstage Foundation. I picked up the shade 2N, which is really great. This seems to be quite lightweight. It, I would say it gives like a medium coverage. I'm not too sure about it right now. I mean, I have it on top of a new foundation and then underneath a new powder, so I can't really de detect what is doing what, but it seems really thin and almost skin-like, not providing too much coverage. So. I'm not sure about this one yet, gonna have to update you guys, but I'm certainly excited to play with this. I can't wait to pair it with the Backstage Foundation, which I love the Backstage Foundation, by the way. Almost every foundation I've tried from Dior, I've absolutely loved, so I'm hoping that this will follow suit. I picked up kind of a backup, I'm just about running out, but I finally got a full size of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is a classic, nothing new as you guys know. This is one of the OG concealers, it's been around for so long. I picked up the shade Canel. I have this in a mini size, I got it originally in a mini because you guys know I have so much makeup, but I'm about done with it, so I figured it was time to pick up a full concealer. And even through all of this time that concealers have been around, this is still one of the best ones. All of the new formulations, all of the new technology. This one still is one of the top, top concealers and it really works on so many different skin types as well. It's a trusty, trusty concealer. So I know this is one that I always want to have in my collection, so I just picked up an entire one. So good. Another backup that I picked up here is the Milk Makeup Baked 
matte bronzer. Now you might recall, I've owned this in the past. I had a full size of it. It was one of my all time favorite cream bronzers. It just got old due to age, started to smell a little funny. So I love how Milk comes out with these little baby sizes. I have no business having a full size <laughs> stick bronzer. It is so huge. We've seen the full size version of this. So I was very happy to pick up the mini and the formula, the color is still so beautiful, it blends so easily. This is definitely one of my favorite cream bronzers. Highly, highly recommend this if you're looking for a good one. Love the tone of this as well. It's a little bit more warm, but it does have some coolness to it as well. So it can double as both a contour and a bronzer. One of the best. I've recommended this in a lot of videos and I got another one. So that should say a lot. You know, it's one of those items that when I decluttered it, I felt that it was missing. And so its absence was noted and that's a big deal. Yo, my upper lip is getting sweaty. Our AC is off right now, but I don't want it to make noise. <laughs> okay, so the next item that I picked up is from NARS, another mini size. Love that brands are doing more and more mini sizes. It just makes sense for somebody of a collection of my size, and it's a little bit more cost effective if you're not going to finish the product. So I am trying out the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder. I've never tried this. I don't even know if this is a new product or I just have never heard of it. I think it's been around. I have no clue, but I really like this powder. Again, today's the first day that I use it, but I feel like it's like a no powder powder. It is honestly undetectable on the skin, but it still sets the skin. Like I could tell it set the products that I had on prior, which were very glowy. We have that nude glow from It Cosmetics on. But it still left the skin looking glowy, but it took it down just a notch to make it look a little bit more natural. It feels very like feather light on the skin. I think I really like this. I'm gonna continue to play with it. Definitely need to test it with foundations and concealers that I'm a little bit more familiar with, but I think NARS did a good job on this. I'm excited to play with this some more. Okay, here's where my indecisiveness came in. The majority of this haul is cream cheek products. I don't, I don't know what came over me. I didn't even realize that I ordered so many cream blushes, but I love cream blushes. <laughs> Huda Beauty came out with a new formula called the Cheeky Tint Blush Sticks. I got three shades, I couldn't decide, and I think I like these too. So one of the shades that actually came, Coral Cutie, I'm really excited about this, it came broken. Like I think it melted and it stuck at the top. So I'm gonna bring it in store to see if I can exchange this. So I didn't get to try this one out, but I did try these two, and they are so pretty. So I picked up the shade Proud Pink, and then also Perky Peach. I love these names. Can you see the opalescence that these have, like the sheen? I was not expecting this, so these are quite glowy on the cheeks. They're very, very easy to blend out. They're not overly pigmented. I honestly expected a little bit more pigmentation from them, but... I really love the way that they blend it in with this It Cosmetics foundation. They do have a glow to it. I would say if I were to improve this formula, I wish it had a little bit more of a base color to it. It does have that sheen, but I just want a little bit more pigment to it. The sheen is absolutely gorgeous. So these are pretty nice so far. I'm going to have to test the longevity of them, but I think they look really beautiful on the cheeks. And I think if you're wearing like a matte foundation, these are really going to liven up the face as well. I think this kind of got lost a little bit with the glowy base that I had on today. So I wanna try this over a matte foundation. I think I told you guys in a video or two that I was gonna pick this up, but I got the other color of the Danessa Meyrick's Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette. I've been loving this, I really, really have. So this is the shade Do It Undercover. I have the other shade, which is more pinky. But this one is more nude. I first thought that this would be more so for deeper complexions, but honestly, it's just more nude. The shades that I thought would be super dark and unwearable for me are a little bit more sheer. But anyways, I really love this formula. I use this formula in my bridal kit for lips mostly, but on myself, I've been enjoying them on the cheeks for glowiness. I don't think I'd necessarily use these on clients on the cheeks just because of longevity purposes for events. But yeah, on me, for that everyday glowy cheek, I do enjoy this. It, it gives a really hydrated look to the cheek. It makes the cheek look really plump and juicy. I do really love the colors of these. I was pleasantly surprised. The other one is super pink. I love a pink cheek. So I haven't put these on my cheeks yet, but I'm very excited to see how they look. This is an item from a brand that I never thought 
I would buy from. But I was in Sephora in store physically the other day and I tested these, I swatched them and I was liking what I was feeling. So I picked up the Item Beauty Blushin' Like Cream Blush in the shade, it's verified. And there's lots of pretty colors here. This is such an interesting cream blush formula. It's almost like a velvety matte. It's like a powder, a super duper creamy powder. Anyways, this shade is like a nude and it looks so smooth on my hand. I haven't tried this on my face, but it almost blurred the lines on my hand. So I'm excited to see what this does on my cheek. I will certainly have to keep you guys updated, but I'm intrigued. I love the way that this formula feels and if I end up loving it, maybe I might need to purchase more from the event from this brand. Huh, wasn't surprised. And then this was a product that I was simply curious about. Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush. I'm a stand for Laura Mercier. I think they're an underrated brand. And this sounded great because I love their tinted moisturizer. So I wanted to try the blush. So I picked up the shade Southbound. I picked up like the soft pink. I'm always picking up the soft pink options. And this so far from the swatch looks really beautiful. I haven't applied it to my face yet, but it feels really hydrating. It does have a similar feel level of hydration as a tinted moisturizer, but it gave an even amount of coverage when I blended it out. It didn't look patchy or runny like I thought it was going to. So I have high hopes for this. I'm loving the consistency on my hand. We're gonna see how it works on the face, but you know, I decided to buy 20 billion cream blushes today, so we can't test that one out. The next item that I got, and the last cream blush, <laughs> this is from Rare Beauty. I've been on a kick with these lately. Okay, I know they came out a while ago. I tried them, I liked them, I moved on. Well, I tried them again recently when they launched new colors, and now I'm obsessed, and I just love cream blushes more than ever now. This is the Soft Pinch Matte Liquid Blush in the shade Grace. This is a little out of my comfort zone, so I'm excited to see what I think about it. It's kind of like a pop of mauve but like a bright, bright pop. I just feel like I'm gonna have fun with this. This color I bought specifically to feel a little outside of my comfort zone, and I'm excited to see what I do with this. I don't know, we'll see. I just wanted to try that color. The next item that I got is for the eyes. This is the only item that I got for my eyes. I feel like I need to buy more palettes. Anyways, so this is the Melt Cosmetics Slick Waterline Eye Pencil. I have most definitely been eyeing this. This has been on my wish list for this event. So it is an eyeliner that's supposed to be formulated for the waterline. I picked up the shade Cacao, which is a dark brown, the kind of colored eyeliner I've been loving, and I do have it on my waterline. Let me see. You know how sometimes waterline eyeliners can disappear in seconds? It's still on there. It's faded a little, but it's still on there. So one thing I noticed about this is this is really, really slick. It's advertised as a slick waterline pencil. It's so slick to the point where I feel like I was losing control. I did go in with a brush after to blend it out. Super duper malleable. I'm gonna have to see how this wears. I'm gonna have to see if this sets. I do have it along my tight line and my upper lash line. Super smudgy. It was almost too smudgy. I'm gonna have to keep you updated. I think I like it. If it lasts on the waterline, that's the main thing I was hoping for. Then I would love to venture into the other colors, like the lighter colors, so that I can brighten up my waterline because I feel like those really fade super quickly. But yeah, um, there's a learning curve with that. Be careful because it was like slipping and sliding everywhere. <laughs> and then the last beauty product or makeup product that I picked up was from Dior. I just felt like I wanted to get a luxe product. This is the Dior Addict Shine Lipstick Intense Color. And look at this packaging. <gasps> Isn't she so beautiful? I got this in the shade Thai and Dior, shade 329. The packaging, already worth it. I, you guys know what a packaging girl I am. You pull it out and this lipstick is so beautiful. It's just a great everyday color. You can see it has a little bit of glimmer in there but I think it's super pretty. It's slightly metallic. I don't know. I'm gonna say I don't have a lip color like this. I probably do, but right now I'm loving this. This is great to kind of pop in your purse. I'm wearing Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude underneath just to keep everything in check. And then I also, on my eyes, I don't think I mentioned this. This is like not part of the video, but here I am. But you can get this during the event. This is a really pretty palette. I'm using for the first time I can't believe I've never used this before. The Walk of Shame. I think it's since been renamed, but palette from Charlotte, and it is so pretty. Okay, that's it for makeup. 
My final two items that I picked up are for my hair. I ran out of curl cream, so I thought I'd decide to try a new one. I love trying new curl creams. This is the Moroccan Oil Curl Defining Cream. It defines and separates, which is what I would like. I don't know. I just like closed my eyes and was like, let's try something new. And this is what came up. It is huge. This is a very large bottle. I'm excited about that. I don't do too much talk about hair on my channel. Maybe I should. I like this. I'm excited to try it. And then this one kind of exploded in the box a little bit, but it's fine. Just a little bit. I got the Day Deep Conditioning Treatment. I definitely bought this for the packaging. I think the aesthetic of this brand is stunning. It says to apply to freshly washed hair. Let's sit for five minutes, five to ten, and rinse thoroughly and use it once a week. As needed, I have dry hair. I put heat on my hair. So I wanted a deep conditioning treatment and I love the way that this bottle looked. And that was all the, uh, all the motivation I needed to pick that one up. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I picked out for the event. Am I gonna pick up more? Yes, I always, I always do. You know, you always remember other things, but I think I have a really good base down. Lots of items to try on the cheeks. I will certainly keep you guys updated in an updates video. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure you guys are subscribed. And again, a huge thank you to Sephora for sponsoring this haul. I will have everything linked down below for you guys to shop through your convenience. Your support is very much appreciated. Make sure you sign up to become a beauty insider if you want to participate in this event. And I will have all of the details of that in the description box down below so i will see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one